Hello everyone, welcome to the 18th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to revit. In this video, we will now make our stairs from the ground floor going to the first floor level. Before we proceed, start on your 3D view by clicking this button right here. Open up a plan view which is ground floor, window tile this one. Alright, then from here, let's make a section from this view. Alright, this is good for now. Drag the view range here. We don't need this anymore. Okay. Oh, let's hide our wind wall siding here, as you see from the pretty view. Temporarily hide this element right here. I can click it there. Alright. Now, to make a stairs, go to Architecture, Stair, here, in the Components area, we actually have six choices to choose from, which is Straight, Full Step Spiral, Center End Spiral, l shape Winder, and the u shape Winder. Oh, and lastly, the Manual Sketch right here. Also, if you hover your mouse to an object or to a choice, you can actually see a tooltip that shows an instruction and a video that can help you if ever you need some help. So, alright, moving on. In this video, we will be focusing on the straight stair, which is this one. So, go ahead and click that. Go into the plan here. Right. So, before we proceed, here in the location line, I'm sorry, location line, either use run left or run right. I'm going to stick with run right. We will ignore these three choices for now. Okay, here. I'm going to do it like this. See how there's a broken line that's giving a guide for us? And I will stop at maybe 1000. There. Now I'm going to start drawing the stair. Here, you will see underneath there's like a number or a counter going for us. Five rights are created and 12 remaining. So, if you were to focus your attention here on the properties palette, like most elements in Revit, this is where the start and the finish line of our object will be, which is the base and the top level. Also, we have an offset for both of them that we can play around with. Next is the dimension, which is this one right here. But first, what are risers and threads? Here, I'll show you in the picture that's gonna pop out right now, a simple anatomy of a staircase. So, a riser is the vertical space between one step and the next. It can either be closed or open, depending on the style of the stairs that you like. Then, thread is the horizontal step that the person will stand on. Of course, along with the riser, these two are an integral part of the staircase. Now, seen here in the properties palette once more, we can control the thread depth but the riser is grayed out why it's an automatic calculation that the rep that revit does for us depending on our stair height over here and the number of risers we put right here let me extend this one so we can see the message there we go all right so again riser height why it's grayed out because it's an automated calculation revit does for us which depends on stair height and number of risers and also stair height depends on the ground or rather the base and level offset that we've set for our stair so now let's do the first half until we reach the mid landing i understand that stairs can be quite difficult to understand initially but it gets easier with practice so keep going until you stop at riser number eight which is right here now just click it Next, since we need, or rather, our number of risers is 18, we stop at 8 because the 9th will be the landing, which is considered as another run. So, click here at the end point. If you drag down, you will see there that the landing is automatically made for us. It's because of the automatic landing tick on here. So, again, if I were to click here, you will see there. See that silhouette over here? 
that's the automatic mid landing that's done for us so why don't we go ahead and take advantage of that so if i were to click here look at that focus on 3d the mid landing is ready for us so let's do that again from the start let me delete this okay so again run this air should be good and now let's finish the remaining number of risers that we need so look at that zero remaining right so if i click here see the number right here 18 from 1 9 and 18 this shows that the stair has been completed once done just click finish there and you see that the railing was even done for us automatically so let's delete this railing here we don't need this one okay now let's try to move our stair first using the move button click this one over here let's move it at this corner all right looks kind of bad since the support is eating at the wall so let's do that again let's pick it at this corner here and let's try how it's gonna look like all right that seems good enough for now now let's try to do another stair without the automatic landing take on let's do it here in the middle since the stair being there in the corner seems good enough okay so let's do it here architecture stair here we go all right let's do this one sorry forgot again run take off automatic landing and let's do eight steps sorry eight risers there and if i were to make one here or rather here you'll see that the landing is not a part of it so let's do it again there now to make a landing we're gonna go here and do a sketch for us so let's try to make a landing here for now look at what happened it's in an upper height why because the landing we made was meant for the 17th riser it already ignored the next right here which is the ninth riser as you see here is the ninth riser for now so if we want to make a mid landing it should be done before our second run so let's do that again if i were to delete this and this one and redo it again let's see if it matches so it should be until here all right seems good enough but i believe the width should be 1000 okay and finish let's look at it in 3d there see that it matches perfectly because it's now the ninth run but there's something wrong with this side here let's worry about that later for now let's delete this part and what is that this there now let's do the other set of the run let's do it here and just drag it you know what let's make it until six riser only let's not finish the whole stair okay let's move it here a bit there all right so now we've got a lot of things missing what are those go back here in dimension let's move this down you see that we wanted 18 risers right but we only have 14 so we are missing four steps if i finish this let's delete these railings okay now revit immediately does it for us but if i were to make a section here or rather let's just hide this wall instead by going to visibility graphics there and if i move here you will see that it's done but it's missing steps right for revit it's finished but for us it seems not good enough so what are we gonna do we have plenty of choices for now let's click this one let's change this to 14 but if i change this the riser height will change drastically so let's click apply just ignore this and press ok 
there. Now, if I go back here, you will see that it's reaching our second level. Let's do it in a section. Go back to plan view and I'll make a section right here. There, right click and go to view. You'll see that it's reaching the first floor and the ground for us well. So hold on, let's move it here. There, extend the view range. There you go. See that? Even though it's missing four more steps, Revit made it assurance assured for us that it will finish the model based on the desired stair height that we used. But look at that. Our riser changed from 180 millimeter to 250. Imagine the step that the person has and imagine the stress and effort for that. So of course, this seems plus this seems rather difficult to be done in real life so why don't we go ahead and fix that so go back to ground floor we don't need this section anymore let's this decrease this section head a bit click this one right here and put it back to 18. now click apply press ok you'll see that Revit fixed it for us so let's move the view right here click our stair click edit here when you click the second run you will see quite a few buttons for us to use so if i were to pull this like here you will see how the landing sorry the mid landing and the second run itself increases in width so that's what this button does so let's put it back to 1000 next here this arrow head, if I were to pull it down, it's almost the same as pulling the stair itself. See how the run, or rather the risers for the first run is being, are changing as well. So if I were to push this, see how it, the stair pushes itself out. So again, this one kind of pulls it and this other one pushes it back. Next, here, there's a radio button or a circle button here that allows us to drag the run end. So let's give it a prop for plan view clicking this one right here allows you to add more risers without decreasing the first run riser how to do that simply just drag it by one piece or two and you will see there's a silhouette of a riser being drawn for us look at that so let's finish the four other risers that we were missing there you go now if you were to look at dimension Sorry, let's click out here first, there. Before, the number of risers was 14, right? Now it's 18, it matches what we exactly need. And if you look at the riser height, it's 188.9, which is exactly what we need as well. Now let's go ahead and finish that. There, so they're almost the same, just without the railing itself. All right, so let's go ahead and delete that. Go back to Visibility Graphic Override, and let's stick on the walls back again. What else? Let's add a material to our run right here. So, let's go ahead and click this one. Go to Edit Type. How to add a material. Here in Construction, let's minimize this for now. Here in construction, we have the run type, right? But first, let's go to the function. Since it's interior, let's leave it as interior. Landing type, that's the mid landing that we got right here. So let's click the ellipsis. You'll see that it has the same as run take option. So it's following the same configuration it has as our first and second run. But if I were to take this off, it will give us a couple more options to modify the landing. But usually, it's better just stick it on so that it will not be much of a complication later on. So, let's go ahead and click cancel on that. Let's focus on the run type this time, but this should be a good view for us. There. Okay, so in the run, if you click this, we have the option of modifying the thread and the riser. So, if I were to take this off, you will see that the threads are gone. Next, riser. 
there. So what we can only do here are very simple and basic stuff, such as choosing a material for a thread and the riser. So let's use the same material that we had for our door. I believe that was cherry. It's already pre, it's already selected for us. So let's do the same for the other one and just copy paste this and apply there. Now it looks a bit consistent. Next in the thread, let's play around with the thickness. So if I were to make this 100, you will see the difference change here in the stair itself. There. Now let's do the same for the riser. There we go. But of course it looks bad, so let's put it back to the same it was. Apply. Same goes for here, which is 50. Okay, so what else? Ah, here. Let me explain this in a different type of view. Go to ground floor. Let's use this section here. Go to view. Zoom in on this one. There. You see this geometry or this line showing here? That's what, what, that's what the joinery option does. So let's do it again. So, uh, here, sorry. There. Now, if I were to take this here and change this all to cherry once more. Where was it? This one. See, look at that geometry right there. So if I were to use this, look at what changes. So in documentation phase, it's always best to have this join all riser and thread option chosen. All right, there. I guess that's done. What else? Let's go ahead and remove this. Also here in the ground floor, you see these annotation lines that we see here. We, can act, we actually have the choice of changing that. So Let's click this one again, go to edit type. Here in graphics, if I were to change this to something like double zigzag and click apply, look at that, see the changes? You can actually play around it as you want. So let's go back to single. This should be good. Let's make here one mm. So look at what's happening. So, you know, just play around with it and see what's comfortable and what's what's better for you. Now let's click OK, apply. Also, if you go to annotate, there should be a thread number here, this one, and click our stair, you will see that it has the riser counter for us. Also, again, if you go to edit stairs, you can also flip the stairs. Let's do a window tile here. Now, Clicking this button right here easily changes the direction of where the stair will be. So that if you made a mistake, you don't have to do it again from the start. All right, so let's finish this. And I guess that's it. We're done for the stairs of this video. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to modify the stringer, sorry, the support part of the stair, which is this two right here. Okay, so. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful or interesting, you can support me by liking and subscribing. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you in the next video.